Hey! Hello everybody! My name is Jim and welcome to Jim's Kitchen. I am I'm an Gary. experienced cook. I've cooked every day for like two years now, at least once a day. I've come up with some great tips and tricks for your cooking. But it's not about me today. I have old Gary here. He's going to be making a fantastic meal for everyone here. So please stay tuned and enjoy. I can't wait to try it. What will you be making for us today? We're going to be making an egg salad. And uh, I might need a partner in this episode. Oh, I don't know where you're going to find one of those. But here, take some tools. Let's do it. Let's get started. Come right up close. Today, we're cooking some egg salad. We're not gonna need that. Alrighty, so the first trick to cooking a good egg salad. Cooking has four major factors that you have to take into account. You got taste, you got appearance, you got smell, and you got texture. All four of those things need to come together to create a delicious concoction. Uh, today we're gonna at least get two or three of those things down pat today. So you know it's gonna be a good meal. We're gonna start off with some eggs. We got couple left here from the other night, all right, party. But before we even touch the eggs, we're gonna want to get the meal prepped. We're gonna put these back. We don't want to, we don't want to touch those yet. We're gonna leave those off the side for later, and we're gonna get all the other ingredients prepped first for an ease of time and efficiency, and that we can create this at a proper speed to go along with all the other dishes that we might be cooking in the course of the meal. You know, you could be cooking this with pasta, you could be cooking this with roast beef, lasagna, salad. As a professional chef, I have cooked many meals and um, multiple salads go together in all these meals. You know, it really is, a, there's, n there's no end to the things you can do when it comes to egg salad. So, the first, first ingredient. Celery, we gotta prep. We're gonna have to get that cut. You wanna get the nice freshest stalks. So the way you can tell is, you know, you see stuff like that, that's not what you want. You don't want that. So we're just gonna cut that right out. Get that off, get off that off the plate. And that should be all. We got a knife right down the middle first, like so. And then you peel it, and then you're gonna go cross hatch, cross hatch, cross hatch. These end pieces, you can just eat them. What did you have got? Some more bad stuff. Get that out of there. Perfect. And the end pieces, you just pop them right in your mouth. Two, two seconds to eat those up. And then you don't have to worry about cooking them. Some of the bigger pieces, you can just go ahead and snap. There's no need to cut them when they're that big. Snap. Alrighty, so now we got the celery prepped. And we can go ahead and start prepping the other ingredient, uh, which is uh, mayo. I like the one with the egg on it because then you know it's meant for egg salad. Brand new. So you want to give the mayo a good shake. And then you can just uh, go ahead and plop some on the plate. Perfect. That's probably enough mayo for the entirety of the salad. We're gonna just get some kind of utensil to spread that out across the plate. A regular little spoon. Perfect, that's really good. You can tell by the consistency that this was made with whole eggs, and it's gonna be great. And our whole egg salad. And our whole egg salad. All right, so now you add the next ingredient. Oh, perfect, it smells great. <laughs> smells great. So we're gonna, so now the trick to cooking eggs is to cook it all together. That's the trick to a good egg salad. So we're gonna wanna just break these eggs. These are tough little buggers. 
Make sure you get the shells out of there. You don't want that in there. Workout. You don't even need to go to the gym anymore. By the fourth egg, it doesn't even matter if there's a little bit of shells in there because the egg to shell ratio is enough that it's okay if a couple stay in. Little buggers, dude. Ah! 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 Just put the whole thing in your hand and just squeeze it. Ah! Recipe's just gonna have three eggs today. Sometimes eggs are just too powerful to be cooked, and you gotta respect that. Yeah, just give my hands a quick rinse. Woo! All right, welcome back. Now, now that we uh, we can start doing the whipping. Perfect. So you want to try to mix all of the egg and all of the yolk and all of the celery and all of the mayonnaise into uh, pre-mix before you even cook the eggs. That's the trick to a good egg salad. You want to get all the consistency see together into this kind of scrambled concoction. Now let's add the salad part. I've never had a salad that hasn't had lettuce, so this one shouldn't be any different. This was already pre-washed, so we don't have to wash it for pesticides. All right, perfect. That's the salad portion. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook this. Now before I start any cooking venture, now that we're actually at the cooking portion of the meal, it's always good to consume a vitamin C. Helps keep you from getting sick. Helps add a little bit of flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and open this fresh pack of vitamin Cs. And, uh, Pop a couple into our mouth. So on the floor. <laughs> so as you should only have one a day. Can you overdose on vitamin C? Alright. Alright. Paprika! That's what you need for a good meal. Um, we don't have any green peppers, so we're gonna just throw a little bit of paprika in there. Alright. And uh, we're gonna need to give that a bit of a mix before we cook it. Perfect. Oh, that's looking so good. I wanna try it now. Alright, now let's 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 pop her right in. Let's put her right in the oven. The microwave oven. So I, I always put three hours and 33 minutes. And that's how you know. It's gonna be good. I won't leave it in for that long, but there's nothing worse than a cold meal. So now you have the ability to take it out 
whenever you need to. So instead of uh, putting it in, waiting for it to cook at a random time, and then finding out it wasn't enough to cook it properly, I can. That's why they put windows. You can see that it's not cooked yet. Leave it in, and then. In this way, you won't run out of time. So now we can see that the eggs are starting to cook in some areas, but that's not enough. We need uh, we need it cooked all the way through, or else we'll get salmonella. Where does salmonella come from? Salmonella comes from trees. Actually, it comes from a, a strain of trees called the Ashton Oaks. The Ashton Oaks have been around since at least 14 BC, and um, they they were known to be a, a carrier of the salmonella. Um, fun fact. The last Ashton Oak tree died recently. Um, it, was in, it was actually in CBC News. So salmonella is cured? No, 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 no. It's been passed on to herbs and bushes and other uh, other types of maple too, which are cousins of the Ashton Oak. Okay. All right, so let's take a look and see how far we've gone. It needs more. What have you been up to? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I've just been a. It smells really bad. I've just been a. Just working and driving cars, mainly other people's, but. Yeah? Yeah, I've been racing. Oh, yeah? How's that going? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I've like won a couple NASCARs. You've won the NASCARs? I've won a couple. Or the, the races or the cars? No, I've won a couple NASCARs. The cars. You've won no, some cars. no. I've won some NASCARs, all right? The races around the track? You won some NASCAR races? What? Or did you win the car? No, I won the NASCARs. How did you, how did you win? So you have, do you have some cars in your house? No. Where are the NASCARs that you've won? I don't have won? a license. I've just been racing. Where'd you get the NASCARs I've from? I've just been racing! Where'd you get them from? I was scared! Okay? Stop it. Alright, let's check on the meal. It's cooked. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh shit, dude, that's really bad. You know what? I was mistaken. We gotta cook that a little bit longer. We can't eat that. That's something else. One problem with microwave ovens is that it doesn't always cook the food all the way through. It leaves cold spots. Now, cold spots are a common problem. The way to sort that out is you move the food around to get the hot spots to warm up the cold spots. And then, try again. So you working at any restaurants these days? No, I've just been racing. Yeah? Do you still have your, your chef's license? Oh, sh License? Yeah, you know, your culinary school. Green. Yeah. I have cut cutlery school. I went to cutlery school. And I, uh... But why can't you be hired at restaurants? Well, I know a lot about cutlery, but not a lot about cooking. Why did I bring you on this show then? I thought you were a chef, like a professional chef. I am. It doesn't take school to make a profession. So but stop asking about you, my school. But do you know a lot about cooking? Yes. Where'd you learn it from? My mother. Oh. Is this your mom's recipe? No. Hmm. I made this one up. Okay. How is your mom anyway? I don't know, I don't talk to her. Sad. She's sad. Lonely. Let's check out the food. I had to ask more like it. 
Now it's scrambled properly. Oh, that's delicious. Let's see if Jim wants to try it. <laughs> Come on, Jim. Are you sure this is egg salad? That is 100% 100, 100 egg salad, my dude. Let me just get the camera on the... All right, I'd like to invite Jim back on to try some of the delicious salad. Oh, wow, what do we have here? Egg salad, what are the ingredients in this today? Eggs. Okay, well, let's enjoy this delicious egg salad. Yum, yum. Wow, that's excellent, well spiced. Good yeah. seasoning, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh no, I don't eat salad. It's for rabbits. It's all, yeah, it's all, all for you. More than merry. Oh, you know, okay. Well, I can't pass this up, so. Well, thanks for coming to another episode of Jim's Kitchen. Today we made a delicious egg salad sandwich that you can make yourself just using some locally sourced ingredients like I did. Just went down to my store and purchased these ingredients. Real simple. Um, you don't even need really any tools, like one knife and one... What's this called? Chogs. One chogs. Thanks for coming by. You know, another, uh, we'll see you next time on Jim's Kitchen. Another delicious meal. We are. Perfect. See you next time.